Besser's out there now for Schmaltz. I assume Kajula will make a change here, but he does now. He's it's basically man-on-man -man coverage on a four-on-four, -four, and you saw the, the Quinnipiac players basically mirror the four no uh, North Dakota players in their zone right there. That was a minute 40 shift for Kajula. Here comes Besser. Throws it to himself off the board. Then back to Osmus. Beautiful play. Osmus looking for a shooting lane. Throws it on that loose shot. North Dakota gets the all-important first goal. Great game, great goal by Gerson. He was in front of the net in the traffic area, winning the battle. But the play was made at the point. Shot got through, wasn't blocked, wasn't altered. Gartig made the first save. On the weak side, but it was a bouncing puck. Taves decides to retreat, and here comes North Dakota. Taves takes out the body nicely on Paganski. Back up the Bobcats. What a great start this strong power play has been. Besser, great read by Gartic. It hits Besser, and he makes it two to nothing. Hey, Johnny, I'm going to show you two things on this goal. Number one, you're going to see why hockey players have big butts. Because right here, Gartic comes out. He's trying to throw the puck by Besser. But it goes off Besser's behind, and he gets the chance to score right here. There's the, there's the turnover on the penalty. Besser jumps in. Gartig wants to throw it. It hits him in the butt. But watch what Besser does here. He, it almost hits a post and goes in there. He, he didn't put it in the 6x4. He put it on the side of the net. But again, he attacks. He's been the best player on the ice so far. Red most active. Most, and, he's, and this is his type of game now. It's opened up. He can get that, those, that big body is moving out. He can get in there and do some four checking. And that's what big guys want in a game like this. So that, That's a shorthanded goal, and Rand Peck don't it's called a timeout. That's a back-breaking goal, Johnny. That's what that is. Much less against Yale. And but sharper. When they talk about managing the puck, he's owned the puck. He's, on, he's got great hands, man. He's slick. Look at Besser. There he is again. Stick checks ball. Goes in front. Back to strikes for North Dakota early in the third. Well, we said that they have to control this big line. Besser's already got a goal in this game. Uh, you see the skill of this line. You make a mistake against them. Quick strike opportunities. They don't need a ton of chances to put the puck in the net. The mistake is made by Quinnipiac. Goes on to the stick of the uh, North Dakota player, and all of a sudden it's behind you. Everything's good. Complete control of the puck by uh, Quinnipiac. Turnover behind the net. Maltz, Maltz gets it. He goes back door to Kajulia, and all of a sudden we got a two-goal hockey game again. Great pass, but an even greater shot. He put it right up under the bar. Right gets over like a buck twenty. It doesn't look like a man. He is he's chill. Not, he's cool and calm, man. Just like Ozzy. Just like Chris Ozzy. Yeah. Tapping and losing. Here's Ledoux. Ledoux's got Besser striking down the middle of the ice. Here comes Besser. Besser. Oh, good stick check by Tate. Back to Kajula. Lightning strikes twice. Johnny, we're really high up here in Tampa, and you can see this play happen. The defenseman, the right-handed defenseman, got the puck deep in the zone, and the minute that happened, the other North Dakota player took off. Right there, you're going to see Ledoux gets it. It's a set play. There's the offensive man taking off, and this is just great presence of mind. He sees he's being caught, so what does he do? Goes back door to his buddy, Kajula. Great play. Besser's caught right here. He knows he's got. He can't make a play, and he goes back to Kajula. And I guarantee you, Kajula's yelling all the way. I'm here. I'm here. Give it to me. Pick up the laundry. And oh, by the way, make sure the CBS line doesn't have a good night. You got the laundry, but you didn't do the second stuff. Drake Kajula had a hat trick against St. Cloud back in November. Has a 13 game scoring streak. Score! Five to one. Austin Paganski. The party has started in Grand Forks and here in Tampa. Yeah, there's a lot of people with red faces that are doing a lot of cheering right now. Shot comes from the point. I really hate to see a goal like this go in because Gartek played so well. 
all night long, all season long. He's trying to find it through traffic. Again, just a case of North Dakota winning the battles. They've been doing that all game long. Drops the point. You see rebound, you see rebound, which he hasn't been giving up all night long. So his favorite player he's ever had on the USA team. In alone, Sanderson back up by Garteg, who stops it. Keep battling, man. Keep battling. You hear the crowd. This nation is strong. They've been waiting for a long time. And finally, all their loyalty, all their traveling, the thousands and thousands of miles of plane flights. All the windows they've scraped in the middle of winter. Car rides, the ice scrapers, the snow shovels. 50 saves for Cam Johnson in the last two games, making 51 now. What a frozen four he has had. Three goals in 10 minutes and 21 seconds. That burst, that lightning strike that we talked about, even though for most of the game, Quinnipiac was doing a pretty good job at even strength against the big line. You knew at any moment they could break out. Boy, did they break out. Kajula clears it around. They're on their feet in Tampa. At long last, it has happened again for the first time in 16 years. Stick a Grand Forks in them. North Dakota, champions of the college hockey world. Only Michigan has more national championships now than North Dakota. They were impressive from the start, Barry. They win 5-1. to one. Well, I'm very impressed that the, you beat a team as good as Quinnipiac with all the talented players they have, with all the experience they have, and you dominate a team beat them 5-1. That means you're a heck of a team because uh, Quinnipiac certainly is. Cam Johnson, it won't look like he was needed early in this game. He played great, made some spectacular saves to keep that game 2-1. No college hockey program has a bigger or more loyal or more passionate fan base. No college hockey program has more media that covers them. There were multiple media outlets here in Tampa. And now the great tradition of the handshake line at center ice. Quinnipiac, still an amazing story that they built the program they have in Hamden, Connecticut. Two national championship game appearances in the last four years. They have been a machine the last four or five years. We'll have to continue that process. Rand Pecknell told us he'd love to get first and second round draft picks, and maybe some point they'll get that. While we're sitting here, Sam Anna's got hurt. You know, yeah. he, he, can Quinnipiac expect to beat a team like North Dakota if, if maybe your one first best player on the team is hurt and not 100%? You got to look at that. But uh, just the, the way he competed and battled, and the way the rest of the guys competed and battled, it was fantastic. It was what sports is about. It was what makes hockey so special when you see two teams go at it like they have tonight in this game. Sam Anis had two posts in this game, yeah. so close. But what a performance again in a, by Brad Berry. There's Anis really playing with one shoulder. He had bruised ribs on that hit in the ECAC championship game. Well, Drake Kajula the weekend, he'll never forget. Three trips to the training, uh, to the training room during a game, in, mm -hmm. in two games, so. There's Berry, what a job, Berry. He takes over for Dave yep. Haxtell year one. He went to national championship. <laughs> with 11 freshmen we haven't even talked about that tonight that that uh, these are two young teams and uh... Drake Kajola four goal weekend 
options. Quinn Kesnick. Congratulations, Drake. What was the mindset as you took the ice tonight? Uh, you know, just uh, just keep the foot on the gas the whole way through. We had, uh, from start to finish, we played a full 60 minutes, and, you know, we executed our game plan to perfection today. Why do you think you guys came out flying? What was, what was critical in that first period? 16 years of not winning a national championship. We had that sitting in the back of our mind, you know, every year we started off wanting to win that national championship, and, you know, we're bringing it back, you know, fighting Sue all the way. Coach Berry, before that third period, gave you a hug. Yeah. And he said he loves you, and he trusts you, and he's so proud of you. What did that mean prior to that third period? You know, he's, uh, he's like a father away from home. Um, you know, he takes care of the boys here at school. Uh, you know, our parents aren't there with us, but he acts like a parent to us, and he loves all of us. We love him. He's done a hell of a job with us, and, you know, we couldn't be happier for him. How do you best describe your performance this week? Two goals in the semis, two in the finals. Uh, you know, I was just uh, in the right place at the right time today. Uh, you know, I didn't think I had a great first two periods, but, uh, you know, our younger guys actually took, uh, took control of the game, and, uh, you know, it was just a hell of a job by everyone. It's, uh, it's a surreal feeling right now. Uh, you know, I can't even put this into words. Let's hear it for Drake. <laughs> Coach Brad Berry, one for one. Uh, what were you doing? Tell me about the emotions that you were dealing with tonight as your team takes the ice. Well, there was a mentality there right away. These guys were hungry, focused, and committed right away. You know, we battled a few penalties there. We got through it, and they just persevered. And I'm so, so proud of this uh, group of young men right here. What was the biggest challenge? Uh, you know what? Probably uh, finishing the job. You know, we've got so close year after year after year, and after 16 years, we finally did it. You've got some of the best fans in all of NCAA sports. What part do they play in this team's success? They're a huge, huge part. We wouldn't have the success if they weren't here, and we want to thank each and every one for coming to Tampa. Your seniors gave you a big hug. How does that feel? It felt great. I told them I loved each one of them. I'm never going to let them go. <laughs> and then on the ice, the CBS line what was dominant. What was most impressive about the way your CBS line played? Well, they played with tenacity. They got pushed and shoved around a little bit tonight, and they persevered. They played through it. And again, like I said, great players make great plays. You've seen that uh, two games in a row from them. Congratulations, Coach. Thanks a lot. Eighth NCAA title for North Dakota. Coach Brad Berry. Bucci. For so many years, green with envy. 16 years. Green with envy as Boston College displaced them as the power and Denver won a couple of national championships year after year but finally led by Drake Kajula North Dakota ends the drought the trophy presentation and the best team picture in all of sports when we return to Tampa North Dakota NCAA national champions 5-1, to one. North Dakota wins the final college hockey game of the 2016 spring season, the tournament season. They exercise the demons, Barry. That's, that's quite a list right there, man. We've seen them do it. They've always been an unbelievable team. Always came up short. Sometimes you just need something special, maybe like a new coach made a few changes. Kajula being a senior, what it means to him to play in this game, things like that. Fantastic job to dominate Quinnipiac like that. Yeah, Drake Kajula will go down as one of the greatest of all time at North Dakota. Time now for the trophy presentation in Tampa. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. It's our pleasure to begin the 2016 NCAA Men's Frozen Four National Championship Award Ceremony. At this time, please turn your attention to center ice to join the NCAA Division I Men's Ice Hockey Committee Chair, Tom McGinnis, and Ian Spian's Quint Kennedy for the presentation of the 2016 NCAA National Championship Trophy. On behalf of the NCAA, we'd like to thank the city of Tampa for hosting a tremendous Frozen Four. We would also like to congratulate Quinnipiac University on a tremendous season. And now, I will ask Athletic Director Brian Faison to present the 2016 National Championship Trophy to the University of North Dakota.
the picture they've been waiting for. They have the best rink in America. They have the best facilities. They might have the best fans. And this year, Barry, they have the best team. They got the best line for sure, too. Throw that in. That line was spectacular. They do have the best team because they beat the number one rated team and they beat them 5-1. Special group, a winning group is always special. They'll remember this moment the rest of their life, and it's something that whenever you get together as a group, you're the best buddies again. It's a fantastic feeling. Tampa was indeed a great host of the Frozen Four. Let's come back and do it again in four years. Next year, we'll be in Chicago for the Frozen Four, and then St. Paul expect the next round of city announcements, site announcements to be made later this year in December. For Barry Melrose, Quinn Kestnick and Victoria Arlen. I'm John Butchergoss saying so long from Tampa, Florida. North Dakota, the national champions. Now, let's send you out to the West Coast for some arena football as the LA Kiss, Barry's favorite team, play host <laughs> to the Arizona Rattlers. So long from Tampa, North Dakota. Rules.